Praise Jesus forevermore. Hallelujah. 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 Thanks be unto our God who causes us to triumph in all things. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Blessed be God who daily loads us with benefits, even the God of our salvation. Blessed be our King who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Oh, Father, we thank you. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. We thank you because you are awesome. Thank you for the privilege of your word. Thank you for the efficacy of your word. Thank you for the power in your word. Thank you because you uphold all things by the power of your word. Thank you because forever, O oh Lord, your word is settled in heaven. Psalms 119 and verse 89. Thank you, Jesus, because your word is quick, living, active, powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword. Hebrews 4.12. Piercing through the dividing of soul and spirit, and even into the joints of bones and marrow, it is a discerner of the innermost intents of the hearts of men. Thank you, Lord Jesus, because how then shall a young man cleanse his way? Psalms 119 and verse 9 by taking heed according to the word of God. Thank you, Lord Jesus, because your word have I hid in my heart. Psalms 119 and verse 11. And I shall not, I cannot, I will not sin against thee. Thank you, Jesus, because you are the king of kings. And Ecclesiastes 8, 4 tells me that where the word of a king is, there is power. Oh, my God. Thank you for the power in your word. Uh, Hebrews chapter number 4 is clear. It is living. It is sharper than any two-edged sword. Thank you because so shall your word be that goes forth out of your mouth. Isaiah 55 and verse 11. It can never return unto you void. But it must accomplish everything that it has been sent to do and it must prosper in the thing thereof. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, because you are a God that is able to deliver and to save. Thank you because you spoke and it was established. You commanded it and it stood fast. Thank you for Psalm 69 and verse 9. Thank you, Lord Jesus, because you are a God who is rich in word. And your word carries life. Life, life, life. John 6, 63. The very words that I speak to you, they are spirit and they are life-giving power. Thank you, Lord Jesus, because in the beginning was the word and the word was with God, John 1, 1, and the word was God. Thank you, Lord Jesus, because your word is eternal. Thank you, Lord Jesus, because your word is forever, yea and amen. Thank you, Jesus, because your word can be taken to the bank. Thank you, because you have never lied once. Numbers 23, 19. God is not a man that he should lie, nor the son of man that should repent. As he said it in and will not do it. As he promised and will not make it good. Thank you, because scripture says that by two immutable things in which it is impossible for God to lie, Thank you because we can bank on your word. We can stand on it. We build our lives on it. We follow on it. We, we survive with it. Thank you because man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of your mouth, O oh, gracious God. Thank you because your word is you. You are your word. Thank you because your word is your bond. Thank you because you are a God of integrity. Thank you because your word is what changes the lives of people. That is why we give a premium to your word in this particular church family called the Privilege and the Bottleless Church. Thank you for the Holy Spirit who guides us into all truth, the truth of your word. Thank you because all scripture is given by the inspiration of God, 2 Timothy chapter 3 and verse 16. And it is profitable for doctrine upon which your church is built, and for reproof, and for instruction, and for correction. Oh Lord God Almighty, we thank you for the correcting and the instructing power of your word. Thank you for the correcting and the instructing power of your word. And it is to this end in verse 17 of 2 Timothy chapter 3 that the man of God, that the people of God, that PBC, may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto every good work. Thank you, Lord, because your word is able to build us up and give us an inheritance amongst the saints of God who are sanctified. Oh, thank you for the building power of the word. Thank you for the sanctifying power of your word. John 17, 17. Sanctify them by thy truth. Thy word is truth. Thank you because your word is truth. Thank you for the gracious potency of your word. Ta, tapele. My life, my fuel, my anchor, my gas, my passion, my love. The word of God. 
is you. Thank you because Revelation 19, 13 tells me that there was a blood dipped in vesture and it was brought out and it was revealed about the one whose blood that was and his name shall be called the Word of God. Jesus Christ is the Word of God. Thank you for Zoe life that flows from the Word of God. Thank you, Lord, because you are awesome in your power and your word has might. Might, might, might. Blessed be the God of heaven who does valiantly through his words. And blessed be the angels who excel in might, hearkening to every word of your power. Oh, I thank you. I just wanted to spend a few minutes magnifying your word. Who is you? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, oh God of heaven. I bless your name. Even as we were going to the ministry of the word now, after having magnified the word and exalted the word, that even you yourself exalted above all of your name. I pray, oh God, that you will please give us life from the word of God and let it transform us in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Grant us a velocity completion and finish to the month of February. Thank you for two months of grace and glory. Thank you for how you are helping us even as we prepare for the Hangar with Jesus revival missionary assignment in South Korea in April 6th. Thank you, Lord, because your help is available to us. Thank you, Lord Jesus, because we are graciously helped. Thank you, Lord Jesus, because you are our Lord God who is our strength and shield. Psalms 28 and verse 7, the A part. Thank you because our hearts trust in you and we are helped on all sides. Thank you because we are marvelously helped. We continue to be marvelously helped. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, because we're going to call on you and you will hear us. And you will show us great and mighty things that we do not know about. Jeremiah 33 and verse 3. Thank you, Jesus, for the door of utterance granted unto me to speak the mysteries of godliness unto a people so loved by you. Thank you for the privilege of being sons, John 1, 12. Thank you for the authority given to sons. Thank you for the bestowment of sonship because we have received you. Even as many as call upon your name and believe upon your name in truth. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for helping us. Lord, show us the way because you are that way. Show us the truth because you are the truth. Please show us the life because only from you can eternal life flow. This is our prayer, O oh God, that today we will leave transformed. And as we bring a capstone finish to this month-long teaching series inspired by your Holy Spirit on the love effect, I pray that today, Lord, it will provoke us to begin to lay claim on our inheritance in love by your grace. In Jesus' name I have prayed. Amen, amen, and amen. Now, can you just actually show some excitement in the chat box and just say, thank you, Jesus. Let us magnify the King of glory. Say, thank you, Jesus. Bless him, bless him, bless him. Psalms 34 and verse 3. Magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. It's better when we do it together. That's why the Bible says, let us do it together. Psalms 34 and verse 3. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. Come on, magnify the Lord with me. Come on, magnify him, magnify him. Say, Jesus, be magnified. Jesus be glorified. Jesus be lifted high. You are the pastor of PBC. You are the husband of PBC. You are the lover of PBC. You are the groom of PBC. You are the preserver of PBC. You are the adoration. You are the adoration of PBC. Jesus, my Christos. You are the adoration of PBC. You are the most beautiful amongst billions and zillions. Thank you for the way you love us. You are my life. You are my passion. You are my anchor. You are my fuel. You are the one that gets me going. Only you can understand me this way. Oh, Lord, you shock me. <laughs> oh, you have entered my head and you have captured my heart. You have entered my life. You have consumed me with your love. Ah, yeah. I love you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have adored him even today. Amen, amen, and amen. We're going to be bringing the grand conclusion by the grace of God to the month-long umbrella series topic themed 
the love effect. Today, by the grace of God, God will help us to bring a conclusion. And I tell you, today's one is going to be very special. It's not going to be long at all, but it's going to be very special. I want to remind you on the journey that we've had so far this year, hither though. God told us this year that it's going to be a month of unending celebrations. A year, rather, of unending celebrations, plural, and they will not stop. A year of unending celebrations, anchored by the text of scripture from the book of Amos chapter number 9. And we have been drinking and praying and declaring those verses over our lives, our businesses, our affairs, our callings, our children, our ministries, our homes, and everything that pertains to life and godliness. Because when God sends a word, great are the company of those that publish it, believe it, confess it, and proclaim it in the creative power. Yes, that's the truth. And so we began the year by going through the teaching series. And the first Sunday of the year was a topic called, Yes, We're Going to Party under the January umbrella topic on on ending celebrations. Yes, we're going to party. And then we talked about rebuild and reclaim. Yes. And we talked about you better eat your fruits and vegetables. And then we talked about you better get your real estate. So it's very, very, very important that we understand where God is bringing us from and where God is taking us to. That was January. Four Sundays of impact by the teaching of the Holy Spirit in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We began this month on the topic umbrella series called The Love Effect as by the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. All of these sermons are fresh from God himself. I tell you the truth. These are not copy and paste. These are simply we look into the perfect law of liberty and the Holy Spirit gives us inspiration. The topic, the creative twist to the titles of these things, it's all inspired by the Holy Spirit. And that's why we must give him his praise. He is the partner that is actually working the work here. I tell you the truth. No man can glory or take any glory or any credit in this. This is the workings of the Holy Spirit that you are beholding. Creative, insightful topics, catchy, but very, very, very relevant and very pointed and very true. At the beginning of this month, under this umbrella topic of the love effect, God's servant, Pastor Kingsley, my beloved brother, brought in a message straight from God. Hmm. What the what the word? Please go back and listen to that message if you haven't already done that. And then the second Sunday, God began to show us his dimension of the love effect as we studied the prodigal father. We all know about the prodigal son, but God showed us about the prodigal father. Huh. And then the third Sunday, which was just last week, we learned about the seventh husband, using the case study of the woman who was a five-time divorcee at the well of Jacob, who we call Jacob in English, <laughs> in the anglicized Hebrew. Today, by the grace of God, we're going to be bringing a capstone finish to the month-long February series on the love effect. And what is the sub-topic of this part four on the love effect for today's conclusion for this series. The subtopic is love turns curses to blessings. Love turns curses into blessings. That is one of the greatest potencies of the love effect. It has the capacity and the ability, as you will see very shortly, to turn curses into blessings. Love. Powerful, powerful, powerful force. And it's because it is God. Love is God. God is God. God is love. First John 4, 8. He that loveth not, knoweth not God. For God is love. And love is God. And because God is love, and love is God, that's why love is so powerful of an effect that it can literally turn curses into blessings. Let me show you a verse of scripture that just right out the gate gives this away. This is not going to be a long summer or a message rather. This is going to be a short teaching but it will change your life. It will stir up your faith and it will help you pray. Open with me to the scripture for today's grand conclusion under part 4. Deuteronomy chapter 23 and verse 5. 
Deuteronomy 23 and verse 5, New Living Translation. The book of Deuteronomy, as the uh, cascaded guys like to say, Deuteronomy. If you break it down, Deuteronomy, the book that we call Deuteronomy, is actually a repetition of the law. Deu means twice. The repetition of the law, the appearance of the law twice. So you go through the book of Deuteronomy, you realize that there is actually quite some seeming repetitions with some of the other precepts that have been laid out in the earlier Mosaic laws. The repetition of the law, Deuteronomy, the second appearance of the law, Deuteronomy. That's the breakdown of the word. Yes. So the book of Deuteronomy 23 and verse 5. Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy 23 and verse 5. That's the book for today. The fifth book of the Bible, the 23rd chapter and the fifth verse. Deuteronomy 23 and verse 5, NLT. Look at this verse for God's sake. <laughs> if this doesn't make you smile, I don't know what's going to make you smile. But the Lord your God refused to listen to Balaam. Mm. Instead, he turned the intended curse into a blessing. Why? 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 Make this bold. Because the Lord your God loves you. Love is what will make God turn curses into blessings on your behalf. My God, this is powerful stuff. <laughs> this is powerful stuff. <laughs> My God. Ah, la divinaya. Can I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ who loves you? Every curse, hex, spell, enchantment, evil proclamation upon your life, divination and sorcery, that has been working against you and your lineage. By the love of the Lord Jesus Christ, we cancel and it converts into a blessing. In the name of Jesus, I stand in my place by the realm of the apostolic and as a representation of Christ to this global church family. I reverse every curse into blessings by the compelling love of God upon you. In the name of Jesus, in accordance with his word. My God, look at the scripture again in Deuteronomy 23, verse 5. But the Lord your God refused to listen to Balaam after he had placed a curse. He turned the intended curse of Balaam, oh God, into a blessing. Why? Because the Lord your God loves you, with an exclamation mark. This is a powerful effect of love. It turns curses into blessings. I decree and I declare one more time. In the name of the one who called me, Jesus the Christ. Every curse that has been having an effect over your life, I annul by the love effect of Christ. Your curses have become blessings. It turns around for your good. In the name of Jesus Christ. You will end this February with celebrations. Yes, the blessings of the Lord are upon you. The blessings of the Lord are upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. So shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Let me show you another great example of how the love effect can turn things around in your favor. Just turn things around in your favor because of the love effect. Romans chapter 9 and verse 13, KJV. Very common scripture. Romans chapter 9 and verse 13, KJV. The Holy Spirit revealed this, this to me about four weeks ago. And I was leaping for joy. I was leaping for joy when I, when I finally cracked this code. And I cannot wait to share it with you. There is no pride of authorship. I got the original revelation and I'm coming to share it with you so that you two can get the revelation and go and sound deep. <laughs> For those of you that like to sound deep, go and sound deep outside. You know, it's okay. Freely have we received, freely do we give. Glory be to God. But this will, this will, this will, this will make sense to you finally. <laughs> Are you ready for this? The love effect turns things around for your favor. Romans 9, 13, KJV. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. As it is written, 
Jacob have I loved. I want you to make bold. Jacob have I loved. Just that phrase. Because we're, we're going somewhere with this. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. Jacob have I loved. Remember that phrase. Jacob have I loved. Jacob have I loved. Uh -huh. As a result of that seemingly simple phrase, the love effect and the love impact upon the life of Jacob by God. Look at what God says about Jacob in Numbers 23 and verse 21. KJV. Numbers 23, 21. He hath not beheld iniquity in Jacob, <laughs> neither had he seen perverseness in Israel. The Lord his God is with him, and the shout of a king is among them. The love of God in the life of Jacob blinded God from seeing his iniquities. Because God loved Jacob, God came to the conclusion by his sovereignty that I don't know what he's talking about. I don't see any iniquity in Jacob. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? The love effect is that strong. Because God loved Jacob, Numbers 23, 21 tells me, I have not beheld iniquity in Jacob. It will make sense to you only to the effect that you go to 1 Peter 4, 8. Let's travel to the New Testament dimension of love. Let's travel. 1 Peter 4, 8. New King James Version. 1 Peter 4, 8. You are saying to yourself, but God, is this fair? I don't get it. How can you not behold iniquity in Jacob? I say I love him. End of story. How can you not behold iniquity? I say I love him. How could you possibly not behold iniquity? I say I love him. Is there another part of scripture that gives credence to this? It will make sense to you. 1 Peter 4, 8, NKJV. And above all things, have fervent love for one another, the way God loved Jacob fervently. Why? Ah, you are cracking the code now. Because love will cover a multitude of sins. Where there is love, it will be as if there is no offense. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I've cracked the code finally by the Spirit of God. I saw it in the Bible. Now it makes sense to me why God can come to the conclusion and say, I don't behold iniquity in Jacob. Because the love of God covered the multitude of his sins. So there was nothing to see. Oh, Kala Tabreno Sefilo Taga. I pray for you. The love of God over your life. He that though all of your iniquities are hereby covered, as long as you repent like Jacob repented. Lord God, please cover my sins. Cover my sins with your blood, by your love. If there is the love of God in the life of Jacob, God concluded in Numbers 23, 21, I have not beheld any iniquity in Jacob. Why? Because love covers a multitude of sins. 1 Peter 4, 8. Mysteries of this thing called the love effect. Don't waste your February just doing Valentine's and miss out this entire revelation that God is teaching us. This is how you spend your February, understanding the, di the dynamics and the dimensions of love by God, through the lens of God. Yes. Let's continue with two more scriptures and we'll wrap up. Isaiah 43 and verse 19. What else do we see God doing when there is a love effect present? How does God turn things around? Look at this. Behold, I will do a new thing. Where there is love, God will make things that are old and dry and dreary. He will make them new and flourishing and glorious. That's a prayer point for somebody. In the name of Jesus Christ. God is saying to us in 2024, Behold, BBC, I love you. I love you with an everlasting love. I love you deeply. Remember, I'm the prodigal father. I love you. I'm the seventh husband. I love you. I will do a new thing because I love you and now it shall spring forth. Amen. Mm. Shall ye not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness. Amen. Wilderness was supposed to be a blocked place. But God will make a way because love turns tough situations into glorious situations. The love effect. I will make rivers in the desert. There is supposed to be no water in the, in the desert. Except when you find one or two little oases far away. But God says, I will not just make an oasis. I will make rivers. Rivers, not oasis. Rivers. Much larger bodies of water. And it's plural. I will make rivers in the desert. That is going to be your testimony 
this year. What everybody is calling a desert, you will be drinking water with flourishing grace. Come on, brown eye. Lord, I claim this for my, my, my family, my household, myself, my calling, my life, my path, my destiny, my career, my wife's career, the children that you have blessed me with and my wife, for Busayo's life, for our household, for NSN, for PDC, for the entire hunger with Jesus complex, we pray that we will be drinking rivers when everybody is crying, crying desert lands. Because the love effect is strong upon us. Amen. Final scripture, and then I wrap up. Zephaniah, Zephaniah chapter 3 and verse 9, message translation. Zephaniah chapter 3 and verse 9, many people do not look into this book. Zephaniah is one of the most loaded books. It's a minor prophet, I know, but boy, oh boy, major revelations. Zephaniah 3 and verse 9, message translation. In the end, ah, I'm, very, I'm, 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 I'm excited already. Love will speak for you this year. The love effect will favor you. Ah, I'm telling you. In the end, Zephaniah 3, 9, message translation. God is saying, in the end, God will turn things around for the people of PBC. Amen in our favor. God will give us a language that is undistorted, unpolluted. He will give us words to address God in worship and unity and to serve God with our shoulders to the wheel. Glory be to God forevermore. Hallelujah. This year you will find your purpose. You will walk in it and you will never stop walking in the purpose of God for your life. God will give you meaning. God will give you life, understanding and path and truth. God will give you clarity of mind and singularity of purpose. You will walk in the way of the Lord. Your life will begin to take shape. In the name of Jesus. God will turn things around for your good. The love of Christ will compel him. And he will turn things around for your good. That love that turns crosses into blessings. Reproach into glory. Shame into glory. That love that turns sickness into healing. That love that compels and turns things around. And covers sins. It will speak for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Are you living in sin and you want to know the Lord? This is a Kairos moment right here. This is a, You are ending the month of February. A month people have called the month of love. I have to do this. Otherwise, what kind of messenger would I be? If you do not yet know the Lord Jesus Christ, <laughs> this love effect will not turn anything around in your life. You have to accept love for love to work for you. In, re, in, in, in particular dimensions. So, you do not yet know the Lord Jesus Christ. You are still living in sin. You've not repented like Jacob. You've not repented like David. You've not repented like the prodigal son. You're just living your life anyhow. You don't qualify for this level of dimension. But if you want to really know the Lord and you want to walk with Him and you want to repent from your old ways, you are the one that we came for. It is because of you the Lord sent me. It is because of you the Lord prepared His word and brought this message through this messenger. Unworthy as I am. I want to lead you to Christ. It will be a privilege and an utmost joy to do that. Just repeat after me these simple prayers. And by the way, a link is going to be put in the chat box right now, even as I am leading you to Christ. Just click on that link once we're done praying. And then it will take you straight to our website. In 30 seconds, fill out your information. We will gather all of what we need and we will follow up with you. We promise to do that offline. Say, Lord Jesus, I thank you for your overwhelming love. Thank you for the love impact that transforms curses to blessings, pain to gain, shame into awesome glory. Lord, please forgive me of my sins. I confess that there are many. And I don't want to continue this way. I want to be united with you again. I want to be aligned with you. Please grant me the ministry of reconciliation. Through the blood of Jesus Christ, I come. I come. I come. I come. I come. Whosoever comes to me, I shall in no wise cast away. I come. I come, Lord. I believe in my heart that Jesus Christ is Lord. And I believe that he came and he died for my sins. And he rose. And now he's in ascended glory, making intercessions on my behalf, sending messengers like this. 
I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is both Lord and Savior over my life today, personally. And I believe that the Spirit of God will help me to walk the path of Christ. Teach me your ways, O oh God, that I may understand you more fully. Help me, Lord, to grow in this church family. Let me not return to my old ways. Blessed be the God of David. In Jesus' mighty name, I have prayed. Amen. You pray that prayer, you're saved. Congratulations. Welcome home. The love of Christ has found you. It has reached for you. Yes. And now you are home. Like I said, please kindly click that form. Fill it out. We will reach out to you. And we'll begin this journey together. I'm very excited about the month of March. God has an incredible compendium of graces and anointings that will be blessing this altar. Stick around. Keep on following all of our social media handles. Keep praying along with us. Invite a friend. You have a responsibility to grow the membership of this church by the power of God at work in you. You can't just be eating alone. Tell people what God is doing here. Follow the links to hundreds and thousands of people. Let God's message begin to prevail mightily and grow. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we love you. Remember, Hang Out with Jesus is coming up April 6th. Seoul, South Korea. The theme, Jesus Christ. The Lord is that spirit. 2 Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 17. God bless you and God keep you. Over to you, Tina, please. Close us out and take us to the offering. <laughs>